Hi there, so here we are again, uh, day two, only 148 more to go. Today we're looking at Psalm 2, so we've had Psalm 1 and 2, they are the two introductory Psalms, and Psalm 2 is complicated, okay? Um, Psalm 2 is not one of the easiest Psalms to read, nor understand, nor pray, but we're going to give it a go, okay? And I have um, uh, two simple things to pray and one invitation I want to leave with you. And hopefully we'll do this all in under five minutes. So if you're sitting comfortably, let's give it a whirl. Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? And the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, as for me... I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree, the Lord said to me. You're my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. I wanted to sit with the, the world map behind me because I think this is something of the image that the psalmist is giving to us. The psalmist looks at the world around him and sees a world that is increasingly chaotic and broken. A world that is truly messed up. A world that does what it wants to do. A world where the rulers, the kings, the leaders have no sense of accountability. They can just make the decisions they want to make. And the psalmist names this because he understands that for us as Christians in the midst of it, that could be quite fear inducing. That could give us a sense of, oh gosh, like little us in the middle of this world that is doesn't give a stuff about God. And the psalmist gives God's response to this, God's response in verse four is to laugh at the way the world is doing it, not in a I find that funny kind of way, but in a sense of almost, gosh, I laugh because you don't understand. Rulers and kings and leaders will one day discover what we know and that that is God, that this is God's world and that he is the ruler over it. And he has established a king who is higher than them, and that king is Jesus. How do we pray this? Well, I guess one of the things I find myself needing to pray is for protection of my heart. That I wouldn't end up with a heart that's filled with fear or anxiety because of what I see around me. That my heart wouldn't become cynical. That my heart wouldn't become tired. But instead, my heart would have that eternal perspective of this is God's world and there is a king who is above all kings and I know him. So there is that sense of wanting to pray for protection. I think there's also that sense of wanting to pray for wisdom for the rulers, the leaders and the kings of this world. Because do you know what? Leading is not easy. It's easy for the rulers and the kings to do it their own way. And so I find myself, like the psalmist does later on, um, praying that the Lord would give them wisdom that would guide them, particularly through difficult times like this. But then the third thing I hear in the psalmist is an invitation in the last verse. This is verse 12. I'm going to read it to you from the Passion Version because I love this, this translation of it. And this is the invitation. Many blessings are waiting for all who turn aside to hide themselves in him. Hear this. Regardless of the chaos and the mess and the circumstances and the fear and the anxiety and everything you see around you, many blessings are waiting for all who turn aside to hide themselves in him. Three things to pray about. Protection of our hearts, wisdom for our leaders, and a creating of space in our lives to rest in the always blessing arms of our faithful father. God bless.